This morning on Fountain News, Mother's Day celebration hosts today. Welcome to this special edition of Fountain News. I am Joshua Murakio. And I am Bolaji Akiemi. And in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, mm -hmm. well, I'm here representing the Bishop's Cult of the Fountain of Life Church. And we are here to wish all the women and the mothers in the house a happy, happy Mother's, mother's Day. Day. So to all the women and mothers in the house, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Today is your day. And to our mother in the house, Pastor Nomti Odukoya, we say a happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you for being a true mother in Israel. And to all our wives, mothers, and mothers-to-be, we at the Bishop's Court, on behalf of every family represented, appreciate you and love you all. Today is your day. So enjoy every moment of the celebration because you have earned it and you do deserve it. Definitely, they do. Happy Mother's Day to all our mothers and women out there. Now, on the first day of the recent World Explosion Conference, we were reminded that faith is one of the ways through which we possess our possessions. And how do we strengthen our faith? By hearing the word constantly. The digital media shop has all the recordings of the last World Explosion Conference in every format you like. CDs, DVDs, MP3s, and downloadable audio and video files. Please visit the store to order yours. If you are yet to be baptized by immersion and would like to do so, please be informed that the church is doing everything possible to make it happen at the earliest possible time. A date will be announced as soon as the COVID-19 protocol on social distancing is relaxed. These past two Saturdays have been exciting at the Fountain Sports Club aerobic sessions. If you missed out on any of the days, you can make up for it at this Saturday's edition or the next Saturday's. Time is 6.30 a.m. and the venue is the Fountain Gardens in Ilukuji. Please come along with your friends and loved ones. You might actually lose some, some pounds. <laughs> the Hope Center would like to thank everyone who dropped items for the needy last Sunday. The next collection date is the first Sunday in June. That is June the 6th. Please ensure that the items you want to drop off are in very good condition. Clothing items should be washed ironed and neatly packed. Drop-off will be at the main car park after the first service and before the start of the second service. Thank you for your exceptional support and encouragement. Now, the Bible in Luke chapter 14 verse 23 says, And he said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. As you step into a new week, the Outreach Department would like to encourage you to invite people into the kingdom. Apart from sharing the good news with those who come in contact with you, you can also reach out and invite someone to church for a life-changing experience. Tracts for evangelism are available at the reception on your way out of the main church auditorium. Now let's bring you other news. Children's Church holds both on-site and online today. Please note that online classes start at 9 a.m. Home Fellowship holds this evening at 6 o'clock. And the Singles Fellowship holds tomorrow at 6 p.m. Bible study continues online this Tuesday at 6 p.m. Prayer meeting follows immediately at 6.45 p.m. And the shower service holds on-site and online this Thursday at 9 a.m. The daily webinar prayers hold Monday to Friday from 11.30 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Thanks for watching this edition of the Fountain News. To watch it all over again, please visit www.tfolc.org. Now, I'd like you to do us the honors of celebrating mm. all our celebrants today. Now, if your birthday or wedding anniversary was last week or is today, please rise for recognition. <laughs>